This is Willow 2, an absolutely stunning traditional narrow boat built in 2013 uh, by XRD and fitted out by Beacon Boats. Beacon Boats are well renowned for building superb liverboards, and this boat, I can assure you, is no different. She's less than five years old, her paintwork is in immaculate condition. She's been well looked after, serviced every 200 hours. And back to front, she's absolutely stunning. Lovely bow, some lovely curves there. The stern is a slipper stern. That's supposed to give less cavitation, less wash and make manoeuvring, including reverse. A bit more straightforward, but I'm no expert. And on into the well deck we go. This measures four foot nine inches long. Very good condition. Cratch cover with windows over it. These lockers are lockable and there's some LED lights you probably saw there built into them for illumination in the evening. There's some LED lights in the cratch panel above as well. The doors are lovely, they're stable type doors. The glaze you see there contains willow leaves from the current owner's garden. They've had her since new, they had her built. Some more of those in the bathroom. On into the boat we go. Wow, beautifully fitted out, all in solid oak. The floor is solid oak, tannin groove oak to the ceilings and the cabin sides and oak face ply beneath the gunnels. All the furniture, the cupboards, the shelves, the drawers have been handmade. And you'll see as we go through the boat, a lot of the cupboards are push catches to open, there are no handles to avoid snagging clothes on things. Everything's been thought about. It's another view of the well deck. Two 13 kilo gas bottles with a changeover valve are stored in the barrel locker, I didn't mention that. There's the solid fuel stove, that's an evergreen multi-fuel. We progress down the 10 foot 6 inch long saloon, some useful shelves there on the port side. The armchairs here may or may not be staying as part of the sale, the owner needs to decide. But that doesn't change the boat really. It's a lovely drawer under the dinette there. And this is ingenious, this dinette. You take out the backrest there, it slots into the other side and becomes a sofa facing the saloon area, if that's what you wish. It takes about 20 seconds at the most, I should think. There's a photograph of that, re of that arrangement in the uh, photographs on the website. Houdini hatch here. There are two of these on board, one in the saloon, one in the galley. They both have storm covers on the outside and magnetic fly screens. There's a 12-volt freezer stored under the stern side of the dinette there, that bench seat. Useful drawer there, and two side hatches either side of the dinette with glazed inner doors. The radiator you saw there, there are two of those and a towel rail on board. They're uh, heated by a Wabasto system, diesel fired central heating. And into the galley we go. Lovely curved walkthrough arrangement. The finish of everything is. First class on this boat, I must say. There's a useful cellar in the floor here. And these are very practical. There are five of these drawers in the galley. Four on the port side where I am now and one opposite. Every inch of space has been used on this boat. I'll try and show that as we go through. Really well thought out. All very solid. Here's the Houdini hatch in the galley. There's a cupboard over the eye level oven here. The oven itself is a Thetford Midi Prima oven and grill. And the gas hob is on the other side of the kitchen. And here we have the larder fridge. That's a 12 volt shoreline.
and over to the other side of the kitchen. Lovely cupboards, beautiful archways over the windows there. All portholes on board. There are 10 15 inch portholes and two 8 inch portholes. The washing machine, very neatly tucked away there, is a Zanussi AquaCycle 1300. That tap nearest us is a water filtered water drinking tap and a very useful work surface which hinges over the sink. Lots of storage, lots of space, and here's the gas hob, that's a spin flow, and an absolutely enormous cupboard under that hob. The galley is uh, 7 feet 10 inches long, best part of 8 feet, there's lots of room to do what you need and everything you need to do it with. The Houdini hatches uh, do offer some additional light over the side hatches in here. It feels quite light and airy. The lighting throughout the boat is LED by the way. On into the bathroom, walkthrough arrangement. Solid oak cupboards here, ceramic basin set into this unit. Another one of those push catch doors. Small chest of drawers here next to it. They pull out to give you access to the plumbing. And here's the shower, tiled shower with a extractor light over. I want to show you this door. Stained glass is absolutely stunning. It's beautiful. Now for the loo, it's a Thetford cassette, but it's set in a, a Thunderbox style arrangement, the old Victorian Thunderboxes. Beautiful piece of oak woodwork. Very comfy seat if you want to sit and have a chat with whoever's in the shower. This room feels really smart. The woodwork is beautiful, stained glass, the Thunderbox. Stunning room. Just short of six feet long, the bathroom. Into the bedroom, there's a little shelf there for teas or coffees or gin and tonics, whatever you choose to drink in bed. Some beautifully fashioned cupboards over the bed on the port side. There's another radiator there. The bed extends to four foot eight inches wide. There are two of these extendable bases, very easily done, and under those are three very good sized drawers. The chlorophyll is situated under the bed as well. And acres of storage here at the foot of the bed. Shelving cupboard there with a dressing mirror, drawers underneath. Very large double cupboard here. And a hanging wardrobe underneath that. There's an inverter on board, that's 2 kilowatt Victron. There's a 3.5 kilowatt travel power generator. There's a galvanic isolator. There are 340 watt solar panels. Lots to keep yourself sufficient for a liveaboard. Into the engine room we go, very neatly stowed navigation equipment there. Easy access to the engine, there's a canal line 42 under there with 2,700 hours on the clock. It's been regularly serviced, as I mentioned. There's a very neat cupboard here housing all the electricery. Fuse boxes and switches above and below that is the travel pack generator, the solar power controller, the inverter. All very easily accessible. And a couple of very good sized cupboards next to that, backing onto the bedroom bulkhead. There's an immersion heater on board as well, one kilowatt, and that's fired by the generator if you're not hooked up to the landline. Beautiful room, the stern cabin's just over seven feet 
long itself. And the access is very easy. The, the hatch is large and the configuration of steps make it easy to get out without doubling yourself over. Willow 2, I could talk for ages about it. There we go. For further photographs and a fully downloadable colour brochure, go to www.rugbyboats.co.uk.